I grew up in the San Fernando Valley, California. I come from a super loving and fun family. School life for me, I had bad skin, I had bad teeth. I definitely was not a confident teenager whatsoever. I knew that there was sort of like another person living inside of me that just didn't reflect what I saw in the mirror. Nowhere is prouder of its plastic surgery culture than Hollywood. And it's not just the A-list getting treatments. Anyone can get the look they want, even if it's to emulate their favorite star. 32-year-old Brian Ray lives in Los Angeles with his fiance, Jonathan. In terms of my appearance and what I look like, I am definitely trying to emulate my icon, the legendary Miss Britney Spears, because I think she is absolutely stunning. I've invested upwards of $80,000 on myself. I had my nose redone, fat injections into my cheeks, laser hair removal. I do Botox and lip fillers. Brian has completely embraced all things Britney. He not only loves to look and dress like her, he also likes to dance to her music. You ready? It's already We're going to yeah. rehearse slave today. Oh my gosh, awesome. We're going to go over it slowly and get used to it, get ready. Woo! Perfect, I'm excited. Awesome. Yeah, I love dancing. I think it's just, you know, you get to have a moment and create art and sort of just like, let your body just go and do its thing and have fun with it. I was 16 years old when I first considered cosmetic surgery. My mom kind of was bugging me like, you know, what is it that you want for your 17th birthday? And I told her, mom, I want veneers. I want completely a new set of teeth. And she was expecting me to say like a car or something like that because I just got my permit. Lori, Brian's mother, is an entrepreneur and pastor. I feel that the work that Brian likes to have done makes him happy. So it makes me happy that he's making himself happy and being true to who he is. Um, I don't enable him in any way, but I am a supportive mom, absolutely. Brian's social circle are also accepting of his surgery. I think our friendship group in, in LA is interesting and diverse. It's comprised, you know, mainly of, uh, of, of people from all different walks of life and different sexualities and, uh, and different backgrounds, and we all come together and have a great time. If somebody wants to call me a freak, I take it as a compliment, because I love freaks. <laughs> I am a freak. I am a weirdo. I am all of those things. <laughs> Brian's next procedure is at one of the many exclusive clinics just off LA's Rodeo Drive. This space was initially designed to make a patient feel at ease rather than a medical office, which can be full of fear and certain anxiety-driven feelings. It's important for me and for the clients to feel that they're coming to a special place. I absolutely love coming to this office. It is so exclusive. You get pampered, and really, you just get the royal treatment here. So it's incredibly luxe, and that's what today's all about, luxe. Dr. Barzi has done work on Brian before, but today's treatment is particularly bloodthirsty. Hi, Brian. Hi, Dr. Barzi. How are Good you? Nice to see you again. Nice to Come see on you. In. You ready? I'm so ready. Awesome. Come Let's on, do man. this. We'll set you up in the room. Okay. It's so beautiful here. Thank you. A vampire facial is a procedure that increases the collagen deposition in the skin, improves the texture, the tone, and the color. It's a nice, subtle way of making someone look more youthful and rejuvenated. The average cost is around $600 here, yeah. Where'd you get the money to pay for all these procedures? My fiance and I own a medical marijuana edible company. Um, I work hard, I work very hard, and I, I love treating myself. When I want to do a procedure, I'm in a position where I have the means to do it. All right, so we're gonna draw the blood right now. That's the blood. Here we are. This is 10 ml of uh, blood, mm -hmm. and we're gonna put it in the set centrifuge to separate the PRP from that. We'll get the PRP on top. PRP is Brian's own blood plasma, and it will be injected into his face to rejuvenate the skin. I always wonder if my blood has any glitter in it. It has glitter, lots of glitter. You see yes. That on top? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should I remove my makeup? Oh yeah. Yeah. You have to remove the makeup. Okay. All of the makeup. All of it? Yeah. 
and what? Do that in the bathroom. Okay, perfect. I don't love not, you know, having some makeup on. It's all in the name of the goal, <laughs> the goal of youth and beauty. I'm very proud of my skin because, like I said, I am 32 and it's still very smooth and there's no hair. And I do laser hair all over my face and body. I get laser done every six to eight weeks. And I have for the last 10 years. My theory on hair is that it just, it, it's aging. It makes you look older. So I like my body to be incredibly smooth and it goes back to Peter Pan and never growing up and to everyone else might seem strange and odd, but for me, it's my normal and I've imagined what I want my life to be. Is it pretty painful? I mean, if it gets to the scalp, to the uh, uh, forehead, it's, it's on bone. Okay. Yeah, I feel something. No pain, no gain. Uh, no pain, no gain. Dr. Bozzi is one of my all-time favorite doctors because he's so much fun and he also is a martial artist. So sometimes when I come in, he'll be doing like martial arts moves. <laughs> yes. See, like so cool to come and see that. Do that while injecting. <laughs> We're taking out the PRP from the tube. And this is the liquid gold. So go ahead and smile and then relax. A little injection here. Dr. Barzi seeks out the creases and imperfections in Brian's face and injects them with Brian's own blood plasma. I just feel like this position would be very appropriate given the situation. The remainder of the plasma is then smeared on Brian's face, and his skin is punctured with a microneedle, allowing the plasma to seep into the flesh. All right, we just finished the microneedling of the PRP into the skin, and you can see the hyperemia of the skin. It's all red and rosy. Okay. So you can wash your face tomorrow morning, and uh, you'll be good to go. It'll be beautiful. Well, thank you so much. For More beautiful. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, that's it, guys. I'm so excited to see the results, and, you know, I feel like I'm off to Neverland. <laughs>Brian is going to expect a response from the platelets when they release the growth factors. And that stage takes about two weeks. Deposits of microscopic fat and more vessel formation to enhance the skin color and texture and tone. And that can last up to six months. I am feeling incredible after my vampire facial. I know right now I may look a little horror movie, but it's all in the name of beauty. The relationship I have with Brian isn't a relationship with Britney Spears. It's with a real human being, and a real human being who strives to be a better person. I'm, I'm quite good with how I look. I think natural is fine for me in my own way. I don't, I don't need it, but um, each to their own. I'm not sure where Brian's drive comes. Obviously, he's Britney Spears' number one fan, so she is a driving force. And I think it's sort of like addictive. I'm definitely always going to be tweaking myself. Like, I don't see me stopping this lifestyle at all. But that being said, I am very comfortable in my skin. Um, I'm confident with who I am and the journey that I'm on. And it's all about sort of just following my dream and following my passion and continuing expressing myself in this form of art. It's kind of always evolving. I don't know what the next step is. That's part of the fun and the journey of it all. And I'm just along for the ride, really.